Welcome to another Woods Report. I don't know why that song is stuck in my head. Atlantis. Because I said Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Atlantis, come back to me. A long way. Just now or before? Just now, when I said put a picture of Atlanta up. But what does that have to do with Atlantis? Because I thought Atlantis is that city and all. Yeah. I'll always (laughs) come back to you. I'll always. Who's your musical? Your musical. We don't do anything musical anymore, and we used to. Uh, Your music. Well, sometimes we sing. Your music. No, we used to sing more even on the show. Yeah. Your musical thing you put up today. We do. We sing here and Uh. there. Like you mean like the the verses? We haven't done in a while. Oh put it no, that we way. ain't doing the verses. No, I'm not doing that. Oh either. no, I'm just, that kind of singing. But every now and then a song can hit you and you will start. It hasn't singing in together. a while. That's what I'm saying. Uh, but um, your your recent meme was something with music. Um, well, no, I said what decade had the best music? No, it was another one about the crowd and somebody was being funny. You said the it was a picture of a big old crowd like a concert. Oh, I said, and who said what that? artists would, would... Oh, some people answered. No, one person said, I know a lot of artists that are, that are able to draw that crowd, and they may not be really clear with the faces and stuff. And I said, oh, I get it, LOL. I don't get you it. You meant drawing. Oh, draw. You said draw, like artists draw. I oh. said, oh, I funny. I get it. You're literally meaning draw. Oh, okay. They was being funny. But then I said Beyonce. Okay. Because you said Taylor in 2024. Swift. I said 20, I was getting ready to say Michael Jackson. <laughs> but he's not alive. Well, if he came up like that, he would. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'll always come back. That's going to be stuck in he my head. He is considered um, an old school that still is singing, still today. Yeah. Relevant. Yep. And that, not that many artists are like Isley. that. Yes, I, Ron I love it. Mama loved the concert we had taken them to, her to. Oh, she loved Beat It. Uh, uh, beat fight it. the Power. Oh, Fight the Power. Oh, gosh, she was. Fight it. You got to fight the power. Was that B? She kept saying, play it over and over again. Play it again. Play it again. Fight, fight the power. Okay. But that stuck in my head because of Atlanta. I didn't think of that song when you said Atlanta. I, it has nothing to do with it. That's it's why I said funny. that. Mm-hmm. Atlantis, not Atlanta. No, I'm saying I didn't think of that song when you say Atlanta. What's up, y'all? Um, Emerald says, salutations, everyone. Hey, salutations to you, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. My mom always laughs. My mother laughs every time, time we do that. Oh, salutations okay. to you, too. <laughs> I do that. That's like my, um, the guy with his tie. <laughs> oh, salutations to you, too. Yeah. You should have um, added the story about, what's his name? The Because the, we were talking about AI. And how AI people are trying to use AI to even mimic concerts and um, comedy show. The one that died. Oh, at- yeah. You said that. You could have said oh, that. I forgot we about that We still can story. if we get time. Yeah, but AI, my, my sister's really saying AI is dangerous. Yeah. It really is. Well, if you let it, that's what it's the people. Yeah. Well, let's see. What's going on, everybody? The solar uh, eclipse. Now, both of these stories I mentioned to my family, and neither one of them really know what's going on. So that tells me that we need to talk about it. I think I, here's the thing. I know what's going on because I've been hearing it on the news, Mm -hmm. but you've been talking about it a lot. And I'm like, okay. Right. Okay. Like her in the comment today about Trump. Okay. Okay. I get it. (laughs) Calm down. Um, Simmer down. (laughs) That's my mother saying. You talking about her? Yeah. Her today. My uh, Emma says, salutations. We being fancy. Laugh out loud. Oh, that's that's why we're being fancy. Oh, she love when she Kim, like that. She likes when Kim greets oh, you. Salutations to you, to you too. too. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't want it. My mother wanted us to do this story on Trump today. They keep oh, putting on news that Trump stinks. There's a body odor <laughs> that he leaves. There's a body odor. My mom said they're talking about on the news. Yeah. And Kim said, I refuse to talk about that today. But he looks like he stinks. Oh, so that's not no news to maybe me. Maybe he's getting oh, older maybe. and he just don't clean don't himself like he is. I don't know. I don't but know. she's stuck he on that. the same old ugly blue suits and red ties. And any golfs. He probably doesn't shower same after he golfs. Same color suits. I hardly ever see him in anything different unless he's playing golf. Yeah. So she just, you know. But my mom is. All right. Bad. So the um, 
the solar eclipse. Right. Some people, some schools are not, uh, they're letting kids out on school Monday mm -hmm. because of this eclipse. This is a major, major thing. It says prepare for crowds, congestion during the solar eclipse. Now, a lot of the reasons why they're telling people to stay in is because of that. It's because people act stupid during these times. Mm -hmm. They'll go in. They'll, they say they're going to buy all the gas up. Um, they'll buy food out of the, 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 there used to be toilet paper, people running to get water, mm -hmm. all of that this weekend, because they feel like some people feel like the end of the, the world is going to be here. I was looking at some different things. Um, some people feel like Jesus is coming back. Okay. There's a lot Just of, be um, ready if you think he is. there's a lot of Christians who believe that Jesus is coming back during the eclipse. Um, and they believe that, um, uh, the signs are there with what's going on in the world and all this other stuff. And the sun, the um, the moon is going to block the sun. Now, it might be like up to, I think they said three minutes or something. This is going to be a long one, the longest one that we've mm -hmm. had. And uh, more vibrant, they said. Because the other ones, the sun wasn't at its peak. This one, I guess, is at its peak. So when that moon comes up, um, it's going to make it appear like it's maybe sparks or some shooting out of it. But why would that be? That's so funny because if some people who are thinking along the lines of that Jesus was going to return, he says, no man knows the day nor the hour. Exactly. So why would you pinpoint eclipse? That's when he's coming. But let's say no, that. No, he let's... said, y'all don't. I'm coming like a thief. But that's what this one man said. In the night. He came back. He's a Christian. And he said, but that kind of goes against what he said, because if you all know he's coming, he said he's coming like a thief in the night. It is preached all over the world, Mom. Yeah, yeah. So that's why a lot of Christians. Social believe media that. is help. What social media is helping the word yeah. get even preached even so more. So some people believe that some people, like I said, some Christians believe that Jesus is coming back during the eclipse. But then a thief can't. You know, a thief is coming. How you going? That's stupid, right? Come on, people. Then some people believe that aliens are going to come. This would be the perfect time for them to come. The moon is blocking the sun and some other stuff may happen. Um, some people believe that a tsunami or some other weird weather things may happen because of um, what's going on with the planet. Um, scientists actually say that um, the animals are going to, they may act different because they said some of them may, it may trick them and they may think it's nighttime. So animals who maybe normally may act different during the day may come out or do something different because it's going to be long enough for them to feel it. It's not like it's going to be like a few seconds. Mm -hmm. It'll be like, it's supposed to be like three minutes or something, three minutes. And that gives them enough time to be like, oh, okay, I guess it's nighttime. Um, so, you know, and then again, like I said, most of it is people acting weird. That's so what a, a lot of it. some people give making a reason to act weird. Some people like, making a reason to act weird because of the eclipse of the sun. Okay. Um, it said, why would April solar eclipse be historic? The eclipse across America will air live Monday, April 8th, beginning at 2 p.m. Eastern. So 2 p.m. So they're gonna is, put it on the news. It's gonna be on every channel. Uh, 1 p.m. our time. Yeah. When the moon um, is in front of the sun, parts of North America will be plunged into darkness, marking a rare phenomenon that will not return for decades. So some of us, we won't be around the next time it comes around. If you like 50 and, you know, whatever, by the time it comes back, you'd be 100 and something. So <laughs> a total, a total. Now, the last one we had, remember in 2017? That wasn't a total eclipse. That was a partial eclipse. This one is a total solar eclipse mm -hmm. where that moon comes up and totally eclipses the sun. It occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth for a short time, and it completely blocks the oh. face of the sun. Oh, I did a little picture of it, but you just did them. Okay, never yeah. mind. Okay. Um, so, you know, we, people, they, it's going to be on all the news. The glasses though, when we wear them, cause this, I remember so you can look at it doing that whole mo mo movement. Yes. So does it, you would think when it blocks the sun, that that's a moment that it won't hurt your eyes, but it, it hurts because the sun will be peeping out from around it. Oh, okay. Um, and then it, a lot of the eye places, cause I was looking to say, where do you get glasses or whatever in case you want to look at it? 
Um, I just got some, you know, from Amazon cheap glasses. If you look at it you can get your free, window, will it be a problem? Yeah, you're not supposed to look at oh, okay. it. Okay. Um, you can get free glasses at these eye places to look at the eclipse. Mr. Eye's place and all these other places. Oh, okay. A lot of them they say have yeah. glasses in case you want to get some free ones. You ordered some? I just got some from Amazon, but you can okay. get free ones. Okay. Um, the total, the last um, total solar eclipse in America was August 2017. But the seven-year difference between eclipses is deceptive, according to um, this scientist. The last one, uh, what? Go ahead, keep going. 2017 is also the cicadas. The cica cicadas. So they must be around the same time. Wow. If you look at previous 2017, the last one was 1979. Look at the big difference between that. So it's a little bit deceptive that these two eclipses were in seven years of each other. Mm -hmm. That's kind of weird, they say it. Mm -hmm. The next one will occur August 2044. So the next one will be here in August 2044. In August? So it doesn't say the, it doesn't do the same month. No, it could be any time. This one is April... Monday. And then the one after that will be slated for 2045. See how it's weird how so it does that? Six, so if you seven, plan on being around eight, for 20... Is that April 8th? Monday? It said August. Oh, yeah, for this one, Monday. Okay. okay. So if you plan on being around in uh, 2044, Good. you'll see it again. Okay. <laughs> like they'll, unless the news talks about it, people don't think about it. It said 20, 2024 is better than 2017. Because the path of totally is almost 60% wider and the duration of the clips is longer. That's why may everybody making a big deal about this one. Oh, okay. It's more people going to be in this path. The track of the moon's shadow across the Earth's surface is called the path of totality. And to witness the April 8th total solar eclipse, viewers must be within 115 mile wide radius. Now, it's going directly over Carbondale. Why is that? That's where the, the thing it intersects between Carbondale, another Carbondale, Illinois? Yeah, so are we 115 miles from Carbondale? We mm -hmm. may not even see it. Yeah. We are? Uh-huh, Chicago. Okay, so then we'll Carbondale, see it Carbondale, Illinois, yeah, they're about, it's a two, is it two, three hours? So Carbondale we'll, is the bottom of, is su southern Illinois. So we'll probably see it So then. it's about three hours. In the U.S., the path of totality begins in Texas, and would travel through Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Small parts of Tennessee and Michigan will see it. Hmm. So, okay. There you go. Now, because of this, like I said, there are warnings that people, they've been putting up. Because the schools, a lot of schools will be out. Mm -hmm. A lot of them say they're going to be out because they don't know if the, they don't want the kids to look at the sun. Mm -hmm. And you know, some kids be sitting in class, they stupid. They look up. <laughs> Staring. You tell little Johnny, don't open up the blinds. He'll open it yeah, up open and look. Up <laughs> now you always think, what's going to happen if I look? Guess who looked at it in 2017? Somebody did in the past. Got blinded. Not blinded, but I, I remember this story. Did some of y'all? What? Trump. Him and his wife came out on the, on, he was in the White House. You don't remember this? The last solar eclipse, 2017, him and his wife came out on the um, deck, balcony, balcony uh -huh. and you're supposed to have on glasses. Oh, that's right. He, he had his glasses. He didn't put his glasses on. Right. And he looked up at the sun. He's a dodo bird. <laughs> you're the president of the United States, well, for God's sake. What about your glasses? They said they gave him glasses. And he didn't put them on. And his wife didn't look. He looked. Oh, that's funny. Don't look. Don't look. Come over. Whatever you do, don't go out on the balcony and look <laughs> up. Out your glasses. If you look up, Mr. President, you'll go blind. <laughs> Mr. President, we put some solar eclipse glasses in your pocket uh, just in case you have to look up. But for all means, Mr. President, don't, don't look, look up. up. So he decides to come out on the balcony and, and he looks up. up. That's the same thing. That's the same. It's like telling him to be quiet. Diarrhea of the mouth. He likes to talk. He doesn't listen. But all of a sudden, mm -hmm. now he's telling everybody, stay in the house and don't look up. See? <laughs> because he got ridiculed last time. No, he probably has something going on with his eyes. When he, uh, looked, he said it's probably going, 
You don't want to say nothing. So now he's warning everybody. Wow. From the ex-president of the United States, he's warning everybody. He was the president in 2017. Mm-hmm. Isn't that sad? Yep. Wow. Okay. So that's what they said. Um, they're encouraging people to celebrate, but please try to stay close to your house as yeah, possible. Yeah, we gonna I pray, Lord, that there don't be a lot of crazy news. They don't want a lot of people on the road. It also gives some people a reason to act stupid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, let's do this. It's, it, people think we're going cool crazy right. because of the eclipse. Yeah. yeah. So my suggestion would be, because again, God has not given us a spirit of fear, like you said. Mm-hmm. But, you know, just watch as well as pray. Right. If you don't have to go out, why go out? Why be on the highway with people all on the highway trying to look at this stupid thing? Just get you a pizza or something, put it in the freezer, <laughs> stay in the house, yeah. and, chill and, and chill. Unless you got to go to work. Unless you have to go out. Yeah. Other than that, just stay in on Monday. Um, again, the ki- the kids will be out. Is that everybody that's that's closing schools, or is it certain most people? Most of the places are going to, school okay. is going to be closed. Okay. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing. We'll be in. Um, it, and, and here's what I was going to say about them saying about Jesus coming back. You're supposed to be ready anyway. You can walk outside and get hit by a car. <laughs> Wait, Why is everybody so worried about when Jesus comes back? And their time Yo, may Jesus be limited meet, already. You're going to meet him tonight. <laughs> so why are you worrying about when everybody else? Just be ready. Just be also ready. I'm not telling y'all when I'm coming back. Come on. No man know it. But I'm saying if you just always say he could always come back. Then you fine. Can you imagine when we are raptured up, those of us who believe in that, what people, what the people that are left here on earth are going to think. They're going to say it's my aliens. Aliens, yeah. uh, AI, just yeah. some stupid stuff. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. Yep. So let's see what everybody says. Um, Katilia says, hi, ladies and mama. Hey, Katilia. Hey. Jesus is not coming back with this eclipse. Jesus will come back when the church has no spot nor wrinkle. Well, we don't know when that's going to happen. We got a lot of spots of wrinkles, but then too, mm-hmm. to him, that can be already being yep. cleared out. Oh, he's going to clear all this out. Don't worry. Thank you, Lord. Matthew 24, 36. But of that day or hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven. That's true. You know why I think the angels don't know? Because they'll tell us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They'll tell us. That's a very wise God. I can't tell anybody. He, she said, but the father only. Mm-hmm. I think they would tell us. Mm-hmm. Because we pray yeah. to our angels to help us, and angels do come. They no, help. Uh, you might want to get. Next. Well, what's going on? I, I can't say I nothing. Can't say. <laughs> just, just be ready. Be gird up. Um, exactly. In 2017, it was a partial eclipse. Yeah. Um, Robin Brooks says, "What day? This Monday." Robin, continue mm-hmm. says Monday, April 8th is the solar eclipse, mm-hmm. and it's a be around. It is a be a. It's a be around. <laughs> Nothing I can say. Total eclipse of the heart. Is a be around. Total what, 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 kind of, what word is that? Is a be around. Is a That's be around. A truly ebonics. Is a be around. Uh, Monday ain't right though. Robin. See, what does that song mean? Eclipse of the heart. A total eclipse of the heart. So if you we took my heart, you, you took it. I guess. Wow. Nothing I can say. Nothing I can do. Totally Nothing clear. I can say. Total, Total eclipse of the heart. Once upon a time I was falling in love, but now I'm only falling apart. Nothing I can do. Total eclipse of the heart. <laughs> That's some good writing. Because I asked on the thing. Writing, writing. What's who, the, just, who, who speaks of your heart changing with an eclipse? I asked in the on one of the memes because you know we put up memes. If you guys go to community room. I said, what's the best decade of music? She the 80s. said, I had to answer one or two. I did a blend. It's the 80s. She said, if I got a gun to my head, I got to pick one. The 80s. And I I said late 70s, early 80s. But you can only do one. But I can only do one. Well, my, when I reply to memes, I reply how I want to anyway. Yeah. But I get what she's saying because I was trying to tell her at the end of the 70s and the beginning of the 80s, that's when video was coming out. Right. And songs. I said, I, I got to go by what was going on in my life music-wise. Right, right, right. But if I had a gun to my head, I the would 80s. choose the 80s. Um, Robin says, thank you for the day. Katilia says, hopefully Jesus comes before 2044. Yeah. 
They already got. Um, but you know what? I keep thinking of the time frame to God. What's a thousand years is like one day. Yeah. Can you imagine? We, we how, we're in what three thousand so years Jesus now. Jesus only been gone it's for been three, three days. days. If you think about it that way, that just make your mind go woo. One day is a thousand years. Oh, so, one angel can chase one, ten oh, ten thousand demons. Well, one of us no, with the power of the blood of Jesus, one yes. of us, one of us can put a thousand to flight. Two one of us one. can one send one. legions fleeing because of the power of Jesus Christ's blood. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we are awesome because of Him. I said, just one is gonna put Satan in hell. Well, I'm gonna keep laughing one. about that one angel. That's Revelation gonna, twenty of chapter. Revelations 20 of chapter First. about one angel, probably one. A, probably the lowest of the rank, is going to take Satan and go, come on, for I eternity. Told, I told you to be the one, that little angel that everybody mess with. He'd yeah. be the little, all right, um, they're going to get your stars and stripes today. Albert, Albert, come here, Albert. Albert, go ahead. You can take him down. I can I can go get him. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'm excited. It won't be Michael and Gabriel. No, Michael and Gabriel. Be Albert, come here, Albert. Be Michael and Enjoy Albert. Albert, <laughs> just Albert have on glasses. <laughs> Do you guys have you ever heard of um the writer Frank Peretti? Look at Frank Peretti's we books. About that on the other I show. love Frank Peretti. All right. He, we got another he's show. He's a Christian version of Stephen King. We have another show that my sister and my mom is going to start, and I'll be on the side. Oh, yeah. that We'll talk about more spiritual more, stuff. Yeah, more spiritual things All and right. stuff. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Robin says, thank you for the date. Okay, hopefully Jesus comes for 2044. Cotillia says, Robin says, can you use a telescope? Um, I think they got them fitted That's a good when question. I think they have them where you can put a, a lens certain in. Lens. Yeah. Probably have to have Until a certain it says, lens. Bonnie Ty uh Tyler saying total eclipse of the heart. Yes. Robin says, I've been feeling the Holy Ghost un um unction early in the mornings. Mm. Anyone else? You feel Holy Ghost more in the morning? I was speaking to the Holy Spirit this morning. I like what you said yesterday about the Holy Spirit. What? When um when um we were talking about the black, See, this is gonna be on our spiritual side. Blasphemy time. against him. We can talk whatever. If God wants to talk now, I we'll remember talk now. people talking about the Holy Spirit, His presence, and why would you talk mean to Him? Because He's such a gentleman. He's a beautiful. The spirit. Holy Spirit is the sweetest, yes, the comforting, sweetest, spirit. comforting. And to me, I feel like that's probably why when you mess, if you bother or mess with or curse, whatever, the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, you get a double whammy. Cause, Cause it's like there's no reason to mess with the Holy oh Spirit. Oh God! Benny Hinn's book talked about that. Good morning, Holy Spirit. How we get on that? Cause you said you had an uncle. I know. Other. That's what I said. That's okay though. But Mom. you could come when we do the new channel, Robin. All y'all could come on there because we'll talk about spiritual stuff the mm -hmm. whole time. Yeah. Our experiences, my mom. Yeah. Journeys that we've met people and they've shared that with people us. People have miracles and stuff yes. like that. Yes, we've seen it all. Don't um. Worry. Cotillia says, I want to have that eternal life God promises his children. That's right. Robin says, three days resurrection. Woo! Albert. <laughs> She's laughing at Albert. Oh, the angel. angel. The lowest of the ranks. Go and get Satan. And uh, Wendy pull Pearson. Him down to Wendy Pearson's here. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey Wendy. Wendy P. Hey. Wendy P. All right. So we basically just got on that because some people believe the end the of the end world. The end of the is, world is coming Monday. Really? Coming Monday. Come on. Because the eclipse. But if you don't have any glasses, just don't look up at the sun. Yeah. If you didn't buy any special glasses. You said you glasses, can get them anywhere, or, like an eye place. You could go. You're supposed to be able to go to any eye place. Or, Maybe the ones at Walmart, they have eye. Those Walmart ones, has them um, okay. and get free ones. Okay. That's what it's supposed to be. That's good. You shouldn't have to pay for them. Okay. So um, you should be able to get free ones. If you want to look at it and it's in your path. You know, you can go outside and look up at the whatever with your glasses on. Mm -hmm. You won't see it again until 2044. Uh, so that's another, what, 20, year, 20 years? Yeah. So 20, 20 years. Yeah. yeah. So we'll be too old to go outside anyway. Well, we'll we will be. If I'm still living, I'll be 80 something. So, yeah. Wow. So okay, there you go. Okay. So if you get I a chance to it. see it, go see it. We'll see. Um, if you're able to stay in, just stay in. I think more staying, not because of I feel like it's going to be the end of the world, but I think that people are stupid. Yeah. So you don't want to be caught up in the people and being crazy. stupid. Mm -hmm. Just stay in. Okay. The other thing that's happening, um, Robin says, great advice, be prepared. Yeah, just stay in. Mm -hmm. get, get you some stuff this weekend for your food and all of that and, and just stay in. Mm -hmm. 
Um, if you go to our prepping channel, you should be prepared anyway. Yeah. In case For the grid goes down or anything. Or the other thing that's getting ready to happen, and some people believe it's going to happen on the, on the same day, Monday. If not, it will be this month. Are those cicadas? Boy, those darn My mother cicadas. said, what? Potatoes? You, she didn't hear you when you said cicadas. I said, my cicadas. What's that? The last time, A lot of people don't know what cicadas are. The last time they came was 2017. And you said that year. Really? That's what the well. That's what the email came from one of our um, community people. Now we're gonna have these things in Illinois. They're gonna be in some other states too, but for sure in Illinois. I think I had the map on here. Of where they're gonna be located? Yeah, they're gonna be everywhere. Really? Is that the dark? But blue? definitely, we're the dark blue. So we're getting all of them. What's the lighter color? Missouri's getting um. They're getting them. Springfield, Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee, Atlanta. Um, probably all the north part. Here's my question, though. We noticed that the climate has been really weird and off. Yeah. I'm wondering if, for just sake of argument, if when they start to come, and let's just say it's been snowing here, weirdness with our weather, will that throw them off? They probably thrown off already. They probably sit here going, what's going on? Because it snowed today. It snowed yesterday here. Was cicadas thinking, wait a minute, it's not supposed to snow, now, we're supposed to come. Cicadas are these ugly, that you can see them like grasshopper there. looking. They're very ugly, and they come out every once in a while, like every, what, few years or something, a decade or something? Every 10, 50, 100? It's a decade, right, 10? They might be like the solar eclipse different times, they'll tell you when. Okay. The unique thing about this one is that one. sometimes there'll be one kind that'll come out, and sometimes there'll be another one that comes out. This is the first time both of them both are coming out. Both of them out. are coming out mating. No, they're not mating, they're not each, mating other. each other. They, they mating with their own, own but they both but coming out at the, the same so time. So it's two breeds of whatever you call them. Cicadas. Cicadas coming. Okay. It's usually, it's going to be between 60,000 to a 1 million per acre. They looking more at thinking it's going to be 1 million per acre. They're huge. You know what? They're about this big. You they not little. Because they had it in their hand, and it wasn't that big. The last time yeah, I saw them, they were big, big, and they got big eyes. They ugly, mom. Because, look, that's a finger. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. If I can that's know. a finger. So I don't, That's them right there. That's a finger. So don't, don't, don't. We got to be careful with the size. All right, so the size of my finger. Well, no, that's a, that's a finger, and it's on the tip. It's like this. <laughs> That's still big, Lenore. You no, like but that's... the ones that I've been seeing in pictures have not been that big. All right, all right. That's three inches long. What does it matter? It's a million of them. I know, but I don't want a million three, yeah. three inch, four inch bugs. Yes. Ooh. We went to Africa this one time. Imagine a, a, at thousands that. of those. We that. went to, not Africa, we went to um Turks, Turks Island. And Lenore tries to get a drum everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. I like a drum. And she brought a drum back from Turks. You threw it away, right? You should have kept the drum. I wouldn't have thrown the drum away. I don't know what else was in there. You could have laid eggs. But you could have put it outside. I don't it was care. winter time. I, I think I did. It would have killed anything. Wait a minute. Did I? No, you threw it away, I think. Yeah, she threw it away. Yeah, you should have kept it. But anyway, you're going to look to see if you got no, it. No, no, keep going because I can, I can see my drum. Go look. I think you threw it away. If yeah. not, it's, yeah, you threw it away. If not, it's that blue one over there. No, it wasn't a blue one. It was like that shape. You threw it away, Lenore. I did. Yeah. You shouldn't have, but you did. I threw it open. But she could have just put it outside in the wintertime. It would have killed anything. Keep talking. But anyway, now she's going to go look see if she got her Turks, Turks drum. Um, <laughs> We got all our drums and stuff. Yeah. We brought that. We, we came home. Lenore brought her drum back, undid her drum, and put it out in the living room like we do all of these. And I went to the washroom and I was sitting on the toilet, relaxing. Well, real personal. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even doing number two. I was just relaxing. Do they really need to know that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that plays into me getting up. <laughs> I wasn't even doing anything. I was just relaxing. Oh, how you relax on your throne. Yes. 
And I cornered what what um Cat Williams say my peripheral, peripheral vision, vision. <laughs> in my peripheral vision or view view I saw a giant giant bug heavier than that big and he was looking at and me fat he was stand he was on the mirror you think he looked bigger because I saw him on the mirror he was on the corner well, of the she mirror. chased him so she know how big he was my mother and I looked up. And he was looking at me as if to say, you know how bugs stop when you stop? Like, does she see me? Mm-hmm. And he was moving though until I looked over there, which means he knew I was he looking at him. He was like, where am I? This is a bug that was from the the oceans and the sea. Well, you have, to have, like, you have to have West Indian accent. He, he was on the island mine with the sand and the sea. He, he in a washroom in the middle of Illinois. <laughs> and he was looking, and then I looked at him, and it's almost as if he knew she see me. He survived that plane uh, ride, too. And I up. jumped up. That's why I said it makes sense to me not doing number two. I jumped up. Yeah. And I... I think I literally, I think I washed my hands. But he left, didn't he? No, no, he was still there. Are you sure? Because the sink is near the thing. No, you're right, I didn't. He moved where I couldn't see him, and I jumped up, and I went and got you, because I'm scared to death of bugs. I don't know why I got you. You're not, you scared of bugs, too. Mm-hmm. She and I was like this. And then I said, let's get my mother. Because she's from the South. She used to bring Mama, was, Mama came out. With and us. we woke her up. She put her Superman cape on. Where he at? And she had a broom. But you didn't see him. That's until you saw him. And then she saw him. I said, close the doors. We closed the doors. He was big. He skittled. He squeezed under. He squeezed under the door. It was a carpeting. And went behind and went the into cabinet. my room, and then he went into my closet. Don't go into a closet because you imagine what's all on the floor in the closet. All kinds of, all kinds of corners. And she chased him in there with the broom. My mom was pulling stuff out the closet. Where are you at? When she had that broom, and she boom, boom. Now that bug was about this big. You saying me exaggerating about this? Yeah, the cicada, cicada was that big. And I looked and at it, and I her. went, I said, let me Google. And I was Googling, and it said those are bugs. It, it comes from this island. And then I said, oh, you, you already Googled what it was? Later after she killed it. Yeah. And I said, it. that's why I said, you got that from that drum. Yeah, he was inside the drum. Who would think to look in a drum in a store? But because the store was on the on the, on the, on the beach. beach. Gosh, anything can crawl in there. Wow. We then took him from his island. He well, we could have. They could have been anything in that drum. They don't check. Could have been drugs in there. They don't even know it was a live creature in the drum. You don't. I don't think your thing picks up a. Bug. When you scan it, it shouldn't see a live animal in there. I don't know. They didn't do their job. You think those machines do that? They'll show a bug in something. Well, whatever. I don't know. But but these things, I said all of that. See how oh, we get sidetracked? Yeah. These, these ugly things, things are coming. Some people believe they'll be here Monday. Some people believe they'll be here whatever. I named all those states that they'll be here. Mm-hmm. So it's not every state. No. Man. How do you prepare for them? I'm nervous because, not nervous, like I'm old. Oh, God, I, can't. I told you. But they'll be here for about four to six weeks. They're constantly loud, even at night. They make noise where you can't even stand them. And they're spread out all over the ground. You literally crunching on them as you're walking. Now this is our first time in this area in in, in um, Illinois. I think they're going to be a lot of them, but we're going to ask our neighbors. Where we came from, it wasn't a lot of them. I told I, I told my sister. I said we do as we we do as much as we can to prepare, cover things, keep things closed, whatever. But if I have to do what, what my mom and them were doing, her little Bible, her pray, her prayer group, get her oil, yeah, and just go around and, says, and pray and over every opening, doorway, windows to protect us. It said, "What's that sound?" If you're in the South or Eastern United States, like the crickets. Now they're saying between May and July, it might just be the sound of cicadas. In 2024, both 13-year Great Southern ones 
and the 17 Northern Illinois ones will emerge. This is a rare national natural event. See, that's I told you we talked about the solar eclipse being rare, this new one. This is something new. Everything is different in 2024. Hmm. It says two broads, this large um, billions of cicadas are expected this summer. It's important to note that cicadas aren't harmful to humans and pets. Typically, pest control products aren't the best method to deal with them. So you can't spray them. And that was my first call was the, the, the pest control people. And she said, we've been getting calls all day about this, these cicadas. They can't, you don't spray them. She said, we don't spray. Large numbers is staggered emergencies. Okay, however, there are a few steps that you can take to prepare your home. Create a barrier around your home. Cicadas typically content to natural wor um, world. Curious cicadas may find their way inside your house. It says check with local sources to confirm when cicadas are emerging, whatever. Um, it's great to uh, parameter around your home from the bugs. Make it airtight. That's what I told you. We have to make sure we have a guy to go around and make sure that we don't have. Remember they said um, that netting or whatever? Make sure that it's tight what to can where. What do in the garage? Because when you look at the garage, it's like you can see outside some areas. Yeah, you got to make it airtight. Before cicada season, check your home for points of entry and seal them up, especially when you have a large swarm. Cicadas might accidentally fly in an open window or door. Make sure your window screens are in good condition and look around for cicadas before opening and closing your doors. Turn out the noise. While some associate the song of cicadas with summer, others may find the hum of these insects less pleasant. According to the National Institute of Deafness and Communication Disorder, cicadas mating calls can reach up to a 90 dB something, as loud as a lawnmower or a tractor. If you're sensitive to noise or just don't like it, consider investing in a good pair of some headphones, can uh, noise canceling earphones. Earplugs might also be helpful. You said that they don't like peppermint or something. The best way to deal with them is to leave them be. That's what they said. They don't like um they don't like peppermint smell. So you can you can huh? What? I don't know. The peppermint oils we have. Yep. So we'll find out. We just got to be ready for them. We got to be ready for the solar eclipse and we got to be ready for the cicadas. Um, Let's see. And be ready for Jesus. Because we don't know. Uh, where y'all at? Oh, y'all way up here. Y'all was talking. Let me see. Um, Okay, Wendy. Robin says, great advice. Be prepared to stay in. I never knew about those bugs until I moved down south. Hmm, they down there too. Mm, in some parts. Hmm. Cotillia says a trillion cicadas from two different broads are expected to begin appearing in the Midwest and the Southeast regions of the United States at the end of April. Yep. Um, Blake, a uh, black, what's B L A Q U E? Black? I think. Black moon. They can make it snow and control the weather. They come. They, they some will stay dormant and some come to life. Wow, that's weird. Cotillia laughing at me saying relaxing on the throne. The first waves of cicadas. Of the first waves of cicadas will emerge in northern Louisiana, southern Arkansas, Alabama, Mississippi, northern Georgia, and end up into western South Carolina this April. The Midwest and Southeast should be buzzing for about six weeks. Not looking forward to it, guys. I'm fine as long as they don't come in the house. That's yeah, but when you problem. walk out, you're going to be stepping all over. I don't care. Think about it. I can deal with anything outside. You know what I thought about when they we... They don't bite, so if they come in, at least they don't bite. Yeah. You know what I was thinking about when she kept talking about this, and they've been saying this on the news. In the in <laughs> our good old um, um, show, The Ten Commandments. Oh, The Locust. With The Locust. Can you imagine... That plague happening with all those locusts. That's why some people believe, <laughs> even though it's stupid, that the eclipse is uh, some kind of thing, warning from God or something. 
because they said they believe the eclipse is going to happen and the cicadas all at the same time on it on Monday. So they believe the cicadas represent like locusts for 2024. Mm -hmm. And then the eclipse is going to be dark. Now, some people believe a lot of these, some people that's crazy. A lot of them believe that um, when the eclipse happens, the moon is not going to change. So we'll be in darkness for a few days. And that's when they think crime is going to go up and everything. Oh, wow. And then you got these other ones who are going to commit. So remember the ones that commit, you know what? Um, they take their, take own, their lives. own lives. These those um, religious mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Remember those ones that did it a few remember years ago. That one they were on the roof. It was something they waited on the roof for the coming of Christ. So it'll be some of those people too that believe that if he doesn't come, they'll take their own lives. So just be ready, like I said, for weird stuff Monday. If the cicadas come early, they'll come Monday. Like you said, it was snowing today here. They don't know what's going on. So if they come earlier, they may come during the time they said they may even end up in an area that people don't even think they're gonna come in. That's true. So just be prepared and be and just be prayerful regardless. That's it. Just really trust in God as far as even where we're living, where we lay our heads, where we're driving. Because I really believe the power of um, prayer for even our home. Mm -hmm. You know, like how they put the blood of over in that movie the blood that the Jews were covered with the blood and that covered them from anything that came. Mm -hmm. I believe God still does that today. Yeah. You, you know? can cover your house. Cause with the blood if you Jesus. think about it, a lot of times there's, there's craziness that may happen in a community and it may not happen to everybody. And they're like, thank you Lord for covering us. But regardless, like my sister said, be ready anyway, regardless of what happens. Patilia says, Lenore, funny you mentioned locusts cause I'm currently reading the book of Exodus. Mm -hmm. And Robin says, remember when the bees swarmed New York last year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So weird things. And my with mother nature, loves saying that. Weird uh, 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 earthquakes in diverse places. Yes. And different things are going to be happening. Are, this is Yolanda Adams. These yeah. are signs of the times. Oh, yes, these are, I know, signs of the times. Yep. Yeah. Um, Katilia says, yes, anoint your home with Psalms um, 91. And Robert says, prayer to God in the name of Jesus. There we go. That's right. So thank you, my sister, for letting us know and being aware because we're ignorant by the, we're destroyed by lack of knowledge. So, some so God things, says, study, read, research. Some things you can ready. prepare. And mm -hmm. then some things, if you're not prepared, you just going to have to, you thank have you. to rely on thank God because you. you can't prepare for everything. That's true. That's true. But have knowledge of it. But have knowledge. Yeah, because we don't know sometimes. And that I, you don't want to be so spiritual minded, you know, earthly, earthly good. good. Thank you. Thank you. Prepare. So okay. that's what I said. This weekend, we're going to call our handyman, too. Mm -hmm. And I want anything sealing up. I don't want no openings. Yeah. I mm -hmm. went to get a pickle last night out of the refrigerator, and I look up at the ceiling, and I see uh, water. The little bubble. How the ceiling bubble. I'm like, what the devil is a liar? Okay. You know how much it costs to do a ceiling? Oh, help us, Lord. Ma, you see that? Owning a home. Okay. Yeah. So we lived in apartments. We were able we were able to call the maintenance, and they would come fix it because it wasn't our property. Yeah. But when you own your own home. She didn't even notice it until I just told her. It was water. And it was full of water yesterday. Now it's drained, but the thing is That's water there. damage. You can so that's water damage. So I want somebody to come and look at the ceiling. So be prayerful for that. And sometimes I and I'm in my prayer time. I pray for favor. I say, yeah. God, just give us favor. Yeah, whatever yeah. happens, we just want you yeah. to be in control. Yeah. Um, Robin says, yes, there are signs of the times. Um, our people perish for lack of knowledge. All right, y'all. Okay. All right. So speaking of perishing for lack of knowledge, um, oh, Atlanta. Did you know this? What's going on? Atlanta ranks third in HIV infections nationwide, the CDC data shows. Atlanta has grown. The Center for Disease and Control most recent data on new cases of HIV paints a startling picture of an ongoing health crisis in the Southeast. Metro Atlanta ranked third behind Memphis and Miami for the highest number of new cases more than 1,500 reported in 2021. We've seen that HIV is growing in the South, and Atlanta has some of the highest numbers in the South. Fulton County's Director of HIV Elimination, um, Jeff Cheek, said. 
New cases accounted for more than half of the 2,371 reported in Georgia. He said he pointed to stigmas around the virus and access to care as ongoing issues contributing to those high numbers. We do not have good health coverage for anyone, not just those with HIV disease. And so that's why it's so important for us to look at Medicaid expansion to see what we can do to help people. So what was the reason, though, for lack of... The numbers are disturbing, but didn't come as much of a shock to him, this guy, Mm. uh, co-founder of Thrive Atlanta. He said, I'm jarred by the numbers. I'm saddened, but it it, um, also motivated. My work is fueled... What are you doing? My lip. Oh. My my peripheral vision. That's how I saw that bug. (laughs) (laughs) By sitting on the toilet. My work is fueled by that. It's not surprising given the fact that Georgia is one of 10 states who didn't expand Medicaid. So I don't know. But did you say earlier part of the reason is people don't either have the health care well, or saying. don't go? I'm saying y'all just need to stop sleeping around and all that. Protection. Y'all just nasty. Yeah, use protection too. As much as you can. Atlanta that don't has, keep you from getting diseases. Atlanta has become ridiculous. Just kind of out there. Now, it the reality be, shows that they show. If, they, if that's what it's we like say. they all loose. But then I don't, if you all from that area. And then you got you Fulton, you got the whole thing with um, the Fulton, the Fulton County. County and Fani and um, Trump. And it's just a lot going on it's, there. It's messy. It's messy. Y'all got a lot of messiness going on for a what, southern town. Yeah. Well, why do you think like Fulton County sound like a statement? Well, yeah. Oh yeah, my mom said he wanted them to throw out the case. Yeah, the judge said no, we're not throwing the case out. Right. He didn't. He they left the case going. But it's a lot of messiness going on there. Um Robin says, Thanks, ladies. Governor of Georgia vote vetoed Medicaid expansion. And that's like this man is saying that's another reason why it's probably going. Oh. People don't, they can't even probably go get tested or go to doctors oh. or whatever. And do something about it when they find out that they, that's, why would you veto it? It's, it's, it's really needed in every state. Medic, yeah. What was wrong with that? It's because it's expensive or what? They just, you know, Republicans don't like all that oh. stuff, all those extra um, programs. It's very and stuff helpful like that. for my mom. So we're so grateful. So my thing is, I don't know, I, For again, we keep talking about what's going on in the world, what's happening, mm-hmm. growing in Atlanta, Southern State. You expect Miami or something like that. Mm-hmm. But why Miami, Memphis, Memphis, yeah. another black city. Another Southern town. Memphis. Wow. And now Atlanta. What's going on? Yeah, that doesn't look good to make these top list of um the illnesses and CD, is the Detroit CDC next? data is showing yeah. these are the top states. And it'd be the black states. I mean, not states, but cities. Majority of the, yeah, well, uh, people of color, blacks that lived in these cities. And we're not taking care of ourselves. We're not going to the doctors and we don't have the money to you pay for You know, a lot of it. black people are scared to go to the doctor. I know, I know. There's reason you for it You have symptoms too. and you're like, this kind yeah, of goes back just to spray it away. When we was talking about that boy that went on um, The View, Mm-hmm. The colorblind and all that. And I was saying I agree with both him mm-hmm. and with Whoopi when he went on The View and Sonny Torrin Torrin. He was talking about colorblindness. Oh, yeah, that gentleman. This is why I was saying you can't just also just look at one thing. You got to look at why people think. So when you say black people are afraid of the doctor, it's a reason. Because they was experimenting with black people. Uh, you go into these places and they were sticking us with stuff and experimenting. No, that's the truth. You don't have to look like that. What? That's the truth. No, that's that's partly the truth. Oh, yeah. That's not every black. No, but story. if you're saying that's where it comes from, right? That, yeah. If you come from you being experimented on, and then those people have kids, and those you don't trust the doctors, you don't trust the hospital, you yeah. get you feel like. And to be perfectly honest, in some cases, people get worse when they go to the doctor. Yeah, you think about the show uh, Soul Food when the mother had uh, diabetes. Right. And she couldn't, she let something burn on the stove. Her hand was burning and she yeah. didn't feel the heat. And they said, my, your blood, your, your diabetes, your numbers are going higher. 
and she had to get her leg amputated and she, she didn't went want too to. Long. Yeah. She let it go too long. Well, a lot because she didn't want to go to the doctor. Yeah. So that's not a. But then when she went to the doctor, look what happened. But, well, it was, it was too late though. That's and what I'm saying. So some people have that story. Yeah. Yeah. But my thing is a lot of people have to, um, have to understand that. There is a reason why that's there. Now, should you keep that in 2024? No, you got to get past it. A lot of times you can do preventive medicine where you don't have to get to the point to where you got to get your leg cut off. Yeah. Or like you, the yeah. doctor told you if you would have came in and got a colonoscopy, mm-hmm. then we would have found this, um, mm-hmm. we would have polyps, the polyps removed and removed them. them and you wouldn't have had mm-hmm. colon cancer. Right. And we have family, we have friends, family, a circle of people who not the testings historically, some of them as far as faith that they, they walk by faith. They don't believe that they need to go to one yeah. because God is their doctor. And, and you can't, everybody has their own journey, their yeah. own faith journey with God and their faith and their healing and all of that. Cause I remember Andrew Womack, my mom and I went to visit to, to one of these ministries and he was the guest speaker there. He, he claims he don't go to doctors. He really don't. His faith is, God, by his stripes, I'm healed. He really stands on that. And his faith is that strong to believe that. And that's fine. But I told my mom when he was speaking that over the pulpit, it, it almost like he made it, he made people who were in the audience who are going to doctors, yeah, like you don't who have no are pain. having treatments, who are, who, who are under a care that their faith is not exactly. there. You should have faith like me. I don't go to doctors. That's I you. quote that scripture. Okay. And that's what, that's good. That's your testimony. But I know in my situation, it was different. Right. Because God specifically told me, I'm taking you through. Because you wanted to be healed. I wanted an instant healing. Like my co- I, my cousin had an instant healing. They yeah, saw a tumor. They saw God. cancer. He came back. It was gone. I wanted that. I was right. like, yes, Lord. And God said, God no. says, no. You're I'm going through you the through fire it. like the three Hebrew no, boys. And people going to look at you and go, you had such and such. He told you to close the book. He, was taking you he said he was taking me through. And I said, come on, Lord, I want an instant healing. Come on, come on, Lord. He said, no, because there's some things I learned through that. And I'm so grateful to even share that in a testimony. But some people probably like, you didn't have enough faith. You shouldn't have had chemo. You had right. surgeries. Ha, ah, you didn't believe, mm-hmm. trust God. So I'm grateful that that was my journey. Right. And I don't put that on anyone Each else. Each person has a different journey. Yes. Let that be your journey with God. But I think a lot of it, uh, what you said here, Robin, that the, the Medicaid, irresponsible, yes. passing it around, yes. and not going to the doctor. It's a, I think it's a combination of a uh, lot of things. Yeah, a lot of things. Everyone is different. That's what um, D. Bryan said. Yep. Everyone is different. So if they already, be, if the governor has already shut it down, for another opportunity for them to get insurance. Well, Medicaid. Medicaid, yeah. that's wrong too. So I don't know. It's like, what can you do? So I oh, think it yeah. has to go back to um, responsibility. Yeah. Take responsibility. Cotillia says, Andrew Warmack, I like him. Yeah, he's cool. Okay. So I don't know. I'm just saying that it's it's alarming. If you're not, mm-hmm. if it's not jail, <clears throat> Recidivism, where they yes. come out and go right back in. Thank you. Then it's something. It y'all black men being picked off one by one. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And yes. I don't know why black people don't see it as a um a crisis. Yeah, it is. I think one day you're gonna look up and you're not gonna see any black man, and y'all gonna be like, "Where they at?" But you know, one thing I am tired of seeing on the news. I'm seeing. I'm tired of seeing a black man mm-hmm. who has been in jail for 20, 30 years mm-hmm. says. He was innocent all that time. Oh, you talking about when they do the blood, the DNA? I don't like that. I'm like, you didn't took 20 some years, 30 years of this man's What's life. What's the plantation? The prison system. Is and it was wrong. Thing. The DNA was not found. Just all the stuff that we're seeing now. And I would hear the black men testify in the news media. Yeah, I was in there for 25 years and they found out I was innocent. This, um, this, um, the, the prison system is a modern day plantation. Yeah, yeah. I was watching this one guy. He has a show on YouTube. Um, he said the Alabama um, prison system is like a plantation. Yeah. It's the one. It has some of the most horrible free, free, free labor. Free. He said, "You know how hard it is to get up out of there." He said, "You appear in front of the parole board. They don't even look up. You ain't going nowhere. Just you might as well turn around and go back." He said, "One is dude. He had to do it on there the other day. He been in there for forty five years." Lord have mercy. 45 years. He started when he was 14. What? 
He when he went to a juvenile, fourteen, and then when he turned of age. sixteen, they moved him into that to the the prison. He's been in there ever since. He he um see this is what happened to him. He um he was talking and he said he got in a fight or something with the prison the prison guard, mm-hmm. and he took his baton or something, and he hit the he was hit he hit him he, he hit him beat him up mm-hmm. hit him hit him with the baton, and the the the, the prison guard died. <gasps> He, I said, you ain't never getting he out. He took a life in prison. You ain't never getting out. And it was And he car. started 14 with something stupid. Aww. I said, you never. And he said, every five years, he goes up for the parole board, and they look to see if you've done anything. Mm-hmm. They don't even look up when he come in the room. I said, you killed a, a prison guard. They, prison they, guard. They, you might, they planned for you to die in prison, mm-hmm. just so you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just hopefully... He finds Christ. And they said he he's come to terms with it, but they said, why can't they put him into like the, the place with the older guys or mm-hmm. he's still with all the young people and they want to teach him a lesson. Because mm, of who he, whose life he had taken. Yep. But that guy was saying he was in there for 20, this one guy's program. He said the only reason why he got out is something, I think the governor or something passed away Pardon. or something. Uh-huh. It was a loophole or something. And they looked up and they was like, okay, you let, you let him out. He said he would have still been in there. Didn't even kill nobody. We told you we had a relative went in there for 20 some years. He didn't kill anybody. He beat up the pizza man. <laughs> That's it. They was high. 20 some years. Young, stupid. Beat up, up, up the pizza man. The pizza man didn't even die. Thank you. Just got some And no stuff. gun. Thank you. No weapon. 20 some years. In that state. Because each state has a different law. So it is a modern day plantation. Lord help. If you don't think it is, then you've been living under a rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I say all that. You see how we get off on stuff. I know. Because Atlanta with the HIV thing. Yeah, that's not good to be, you know. And they always make jokes about the men in Atlanta. You don't know what, if they down low or whatever they are. Yeah, you don't know. Lasciviousness has taken over the city. And there's, there's Southern town, yeah, a very prosperous uh, city, a lot of history. So it's not good to hear that that kind of news about that city. Exactly. So, okay, all right. Um, we'll close here. Do you want to talk about Tiffany? We can talk about her real quick. Okay, because I don't want to bring her. My up again. prayer has been improved. This or is um the mayor story. of Dalton, Illinois, y'all. Improve or remove. She's also the um, the township supervisor. Right, because there's nobody there. So she's the supervisor of the township and the mayor. Now, this is Tiffany. Is it Henyard? Hen- Henyard. Henner. Henner. Mm-hmm. Now, we said, we talked about her before. We've we had talked some about, updates on her. She's the one that is ripping the town off, allegedly, mm-hmm. from all the money. She uses the police as her personal security. If she don't like you, she'll close your business down mm-hmm. or close whatever thing you got going on down. You don't vote for her or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, she has billboards up, mm-hmm. and she's traveled all around using uh, what they said, using the money from the people. The lady that's in this picture that's, that's on, on the left side, she's a cancer survivor. And she said, you're taking money and saying it's for cancer um, organizations. And you're taking money from organizations that help me. Yeah. So you're still to go travel to Vegas. Yes. To do your little expense travels and stuff. Expense tra- expensive travels and stuff. So she was she took it personal. Yeah. She said, "I'm a cancer survivor," or I don't know if she has cancer or not. Mm-hmm. But she was being real with it and saying the money that you're claiming mm-hmm. is for cancer and uh, organizations. You're stealing it. So they are really upset with mm-hmm. her. She's, gotten death threats. They are lock, they've locked the doors where people can't even go into the city hall be, buildings to pay their bills. They got to be outside in this little window because they're so afraid that somebody may hurt her because she's done so wrong with people's tax she's money. She's under investigation from the FBI, FBI now. FBI. She's threatened businesses in the area, pretty much saying, kind of like the mafia would do. You know, back in the day when the mafia would go to the different areas and they're hey, collect, how you doing, Roberto? Collect. Oh, Tony. Oh, oh Tony. Where's oh, my money? Business not so. Business wasn't so good this month, Tony. It doesn't matter. That's like Trump. Yeah. Y'all know I always do um uh, Italian when I do Trump. Hey, what's going on, America? 
Hey, how you doing? Hey, I got something for ya. Hey, look over here. Look over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Look around. Everybody looking. I got some golden shoes for ya. Golden right shoes. here. They only cost a twenty dollars to make, but for you, I'll uh, give you a a deal. Twenty five dollars. I gotta make some money. I gotta make some money. <laughs> don't buy. Don't don't you know? Oh, ah, oh, Trump. Uh, we don't we don't want to buy your sneakers. You're just a big old hustle man. Oh, I'm a hustle man, huh? I'm a hustle man. Well, guess what? If I was a hustle man, I wouldn't care for your soul. Uh -uh. That's why I got a brand new Bible right here. What a hustle man sell you a Bible? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I can get a Bible for free, hustle man. Yeah. But it won't have the Constitution in it, huh? The thing I want to destroy. Right here in the Word of God. <laughs> In 2 Corinthians. <laughs> now, before I can give you this Bible, uh -huh. and before I can give you these gold shoes, and down, the my pillow, uh -huh. and all of the other things that's thrown in there, uh -huh. you got to vote for me. Ooh. Now, let me tell you something. If you don't vote for me, <laughs> I'm going to come after every last one of you. <laughs> Your family. Oh your friends, your circle of friends, he'll get them You all. think I got to be president of the United States to get rid of you? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's how she's doing business. And let me get in office. Yes. Oh, Jack Smith, she your days are numbered, buddy. <laughs> you better go on vacation now because when I become president on November, the first day in office, uh -huh. I'm going to get rid of all the immigrants. I told you that. Yep. All that is he's so gonna, called he's, migrants. He's gonna pardon except all for the ones working on my buildings. Now, they've been there for decades. Okay. I'm not getting rid of them. <laughs> or the ones that work in my lago. I can't get away with Maria. Maria's been with the family <laughs> for over 20 years. <laughs> she's not a citizen, but <sighs> she's Maria. You know? And he's going to pardon all of the hostages i'm gonna go i'm gonna kick the doors of the prison in and i'm gonna pardon all the hostages oh, wow. now those guys you was talking about before those negroes that's been in there for 45 years uh -huh. you get out of the way i'm going after those that kicked in the doors of the castle oh, january 6th <laughs> they're not criminals they're hostages and for those of you Brown people from shithole countries, if you think you're going to hang on and try to walk out with them, you got another thing coming, Tyrone, because you've been a roommate of him since he got in there. Oh, no way, buddy. Only Bob is coming out. Uh -oh. Yeah, so... But so what Bob took a, a thing and beat up a, a, a guard at the Capitol? He's an American citizen. Mm -hmm. And he'll help me make America great again. And I want them out. Because guess why, buddy? We're going to build a militia. I need them. Because when that day comes back around for me to have to leave the White House again, oh. if you think I'm packing up my underwear like I did last time, <laughs> I'm not. Uh-huh. We're staying right there. Now, how do we get on this? I don't know. <laughs> Tiffany. Because that's how she runs Dalton. Yeah, she does bully the people in the communities and hold back their licensings. Like if they had to get a renewal for their to sell alcohol, if she don't like she'll you, hold it all. If she don't like you. Yeah, if she don't like you. Or if you're not supporting her. So we've been praying over that city. I feel bad for the people who have to deal with this. They live in that area. You said the, one of the trustees is now in trouble. Yeah, because I figured dirty hands. This whole, they hold They system. all kind of not trusting. So if, a, if, a, if somebody came forth and said one of the trustees kind of, uh, uh, violated them, and that wasn't good. Allegedly, yeah, allegedly violated. So, so she's suing good. her, or yeah, him. she's suing that trustee person, and that person didn't even. Two trustees walked; they didn't even show up, and a few walked away from the meeting. So she, the mayor, couldn't get anything done because 
you know, they didn't want to deal with the crowd. And Ridiculous. The so the news has been on this as much as possible. Thank so you. We'll see where this goes. So she's running it like a little mini Trump. That's why I brought up Trump. Yeah. She thinks Dalton is like a little mini United States and she's Trump. That's sad. And she can run anything the way she wants. I, Look, y'all, I told you, and I know y'all hate when I say this. I believe that he will be the president in November, whether you like it or not. Because I think it goes back to all the things that we was talking about, y'all. We, you said that Jesus is coming back for a church without a spot or wrinkle. He got to expose. Remember? Remember Cat Williams? was Everybody was talking about Cat Williams said 2024 is the year of exposure. Mm -hmm. He's exposing a lot of stuff. These people who say they say, they ain't say. How you going to support and be around somebody that's a, a, a knucklehead? But you know what? God has a way of doing things. He's exposing things. Because he can still do that in... Um... Trump not being president. Right. That could still happen. Trump too. is not going away. It's like the gum under your shoe. Even if Biden wins, Trump away. is not going away. Yeah, unfortunately. So until he leaves this earth. Yeah. Yeah. Or he needs to get saved. We'll see. Yeah. Spirit of adoption. Wouldn't that be something if he wake up the next day, y'all see Trump? They'll think he's crazy. Him. Some people. They'll think he's crazy. Mm -hmm. Some, Even the ones that's to you. The ones that's supposed to be Christian. Yeah. I think he went crazy. Maybe they'll sit and think about it a little bit and go, is he really a Christian or not? Should we say should we say something? Thank you. But God God loves him too. Wow. Well, God, God loves love everybody. is awesome. Yeah. His love is awesome. Um oh Katilia says, Wow, over pizza. That's crazy. She laughed. And those facial expressions are priceless. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Okay. So that's all you can do is just pray. Pray for this country. You're not in a situation to make changes and do things mm -hmm. just sit back and pray and, and be see. and be prepared be prepared <laughs> i always get that from um is that lion king i, I think know. that's lion king uh prepare for the solar eclipse mm -hmm. like i said if you don't have any glasses or whatever just don't look up at the sun you should get them free at eyeglass right. places try to get whatever you're gonna get Walmart. um this weekend stay in monday if you can mm -hmm. don't be out there with all the craziness just use, some wisdom just use wisdom and um, the cicadas, if they come into you, if they come Monday, they come Monday. If they don't, they come whenever they want. Seal up your home. Make sure you put netting around bushes and stuff peppermint like that. Yeah, I told my mom they don't like peppermint. peppermint. But they could be like, they always tell you stuff with insects. We went to the Cayman Islands. I, we, I told you this story before. Mm -hmm. And um, the mosquitoes. I was putting on mosquito repellent. Those mosquitoes was looking at me like I was stupid. Mm -hmm. If you don't get out of they here, I purpose. was literally spraying a mosquito while he was on me. Mm -hmm. And he was like, get out of here. Like, what you spraying So we me? could put peppermint down all day and they could be like, get out of here. Insects from different countries. But let's see. It doesn't hurt to put some around the house. I think they have sprays you can go get. Okay. And spray some around the house. Mm -hmm. Just be ready. Be ready for it. Okay. All right, y'all. Um, Go ahead. Get our book. 100 family friendly jokes the link is in the description the, the link is in the description and the book is on amazon okay all right pray us up out of here lenore father god we thank you we give you glory and honor oh god for all honor belongs to you we know oh god that you are the god of all creation oh god the god of all flesh the earth is the lord's and the fullness there of the world and all they that dwell therein this earth belongs to you, God, and all the crazy things that do go on and happen in, in our different parts of the world, oh God, we still believe you, God, are in control, and we just pray to you for protection, for direction, for clarity. We thank you, Holy Spirit, to guide us into all truth, and, and we just, just give you glory and honor for being alive to on this side of glory, oh God, and just being pre prepared and ready when it is our time to see you, because Paul says... To, to be absent with the, in the body, to be present with the Lord. And, and, and I'm so grateful that we are serving a God that loves. And we know you love regardless of how crazy man is. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. So we speak a spirit of adoption over Trump and, and Biden and all of the administration. Father, your word says to pray for those that are in leadership. We pray for Tiffany, the, the mayor of Dalton. We pray, Father, improve or remove. We give them opportunity to improve and do better and to repent and, and be sorrowful or to be removed. You sit them down and move someone else in there that will care about the people. And we just give you glory and honor, even as we're prepping for the 
this uh, this eclipse that's coming up, oh God, that we be wise and not just crazy and even be wise on what our, our uh, neighborhoods and whatever we're living, oh God. Just to just use some wisdom, oh God, that we that we that we're using wisdom and being ready for any um, craziness that goes on, even with the cicadas, oh God, in whatever parts of this world. We know that your blood covers us, and we have angels protecting us in the in your mighty name. And we just continue to lift up the people in the chat room, every family that's represented in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. We know you know each and every one of them. You know the number of hairs on their head. So you're an awesome God. And we just pray for all of their if their unspoken requests. They don't even have to be um, specific on what they're praying for, but you know, and we thank you for that, oh God. And we just stand in agreement that your will will be done in all of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. And God, give, he um, gave us um, dominion over the animals and everything. Um, because of his blood, though, because we... Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Cotillia says, great show, ladies. God bless you both and mama. Cotillia okay, says, mom. She said, um, beautiful prayer amen amen wendy says wendy p friends on friday story time yeah um i don't want trump and bugs <laughs> you know what <laughs> all right y'all yeah, okay. so we see y'all tomorrow god say the same you know how black people say that uh -huh. lord say the same see you tomorrow <laughs> and that was oh don't forget to like comment and subscribe always, always believe. believe and that was another, another woods report, report. See you later. See you later, uh, uh, what is this, TikTok? <laughs>